you how to tell what a fraction of a square is from the rest of the square. So let's take these four midpoints of the side. So, okay, let's take these midpoints. Now we're going to be uh, chopping from here to here and then chopping from here to here. Okay, now uh, let's fall in love with math and science. I hope you enjoy what you do. And which is hopefully math and science, because then you will fall in love with math and science. Okay, let's say it in there. So uh, now we will, uh, okay, so let's call this side S. So let's call that portion S. So since that is S, this is also S. So we can fit that onto there perfectly. That will give us a square that has side like S, the same as the square in the center. Now we uh, only need to find how many pairs of these there are. Or there are two, two, three, three, four, four, and then this counts as the fifth one. So this is one fifth of the whole thing. Thank you for watching. Bye. The ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding equals yeah. learning. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime, and that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. The first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. And science.